Dear students, I am Dr. K. M. Kadarishan, Director, Center for Graph Theory, Ayanadar Janakiyamal College, Sivakasi. In this video lesson, we discuss a starting point for lattices, namely partial ordered sets. If S is any set, then any subset of S cross S is called a relation or a binary relation. In group theory, a relation is usually denoted by the symbol delta. A relation delta is called an equivalence relation if it satisfies the conditions, reflexive property, symmetric property, and a transitive property. In a similar way, we introduce a partial ordering relation and a partially ordered set. A partial ordered set is a system consisting of a set S yes, and a relation greater than or equal to satisfying the following postulates. A greater than or equal to B and break B greater than or equal to A hold if and only if A equal to B. If A greater than or equal to B and B greater than or equal to C, then A greater than or equal to C. Actually, the first postulate implies that the relation greater than or equal to is reflexive because A is equal to A implies A is greater than or equal to A. And the first postulate implies that the greater than or equal to is anti-symmetric. A greater than or equal to B and B greater than or equal to A implies A is equal to B. And the second postulate implies that greater than or equal to is transitive. Thus, a relation defined on a set S, which is reflexive, anti-symmetric and transitive, is called a partial ordering on S. A partial ordered set simply posit. P stands for partially, O stands for ordered. So partial ordered set is usually known as posit. A posit is a set with a partial order defined on it. Let us give some examples for posit. Let I be the set of all integers and P is the set of all positive integers and R is the set of all real numbers. In the set of all integers, we use the usual greater than or equal to relation. With respect to the usual greater than or equal to relation, we can say that A is greater than or equal to A. So greater than or equal to satisfies the reflexive property. If A greater than or equal to B and B greater than or equal to A, then certainly A equal to B. So it is anti-symmetric. And if A greater than or equal to B and B greater than or equal to C, then with respect to the usual greater than or equal to, A is greater than or equal to C. So this greater than or equal to relation is a partial ordering on the set of all integers. In a similar way, the usual greater than is a partial ordering relation on P, the set of all positive integers and it is also a partial ordering relation on the set of all real numbers. Now in P, that is in the set of all positive integers, we define a relation greater than or equal to as follows. A greater than or equal to B if A divides B. Certainly, A divides A. Therefore, you can write A greater than or equal to A. So it satisfies the reflexive property. Now if a divides B and B divides A, then automatically A equal to B. Therefore, this greater than or equal to satisfies the anti-symmetric property. If A divides B and B divides C, then certainly A divides C. Therefore, this greater than or equal to satisfies the transitive property. Therefore, this ordered pair P comma greater than or equal to is opposite.
now he faces a set then priya faces the power set that's a set of all subsets of this in priya phase we define a greater than or equal to b if a contains b and with respect to this greater than or equal to we can say that a contains a therefore a is greater than or equal to a so this greater than or equal to satisfies the reflexive property and if a contains b and b contains a then certainly a equal to b so this greater than or equal to satisfies the anti-symmetric property if a contains b and b contains c then a contains c therefore this greater than or equal to satisfies the transitive property therefore this ordered pair script p of s greater than or equal to is a positive if l is the set of all subgroups of a group g then in l we define g1 greater than or equal to g2 if g1 contains g2 as in the previous example this greater than or equal to is also a partial ordering relation so this l greater than or equal to is a positive if a and b are any elements of a positive s we may have a greater than or equal to b or not in particular there may exist a so called incomparable pairs x comma y in s that is pairs for which neither x greater than or equal to y nor y greater than or equal to x holds that is why this s is called a partially ordered set for example consider the partially ordered set p of n greater than or equal to in this partially ordered set the set 1 2 and 1 comma 3 are not comparable because 1 comma 2 is not contained in 1 comma 3 and 1 comma 3 is not contained in 1 comma 2 however in the partially ordered set r greater than or equal to any two elements are comparable so in some partially ordered sets any two elements are comparable and in some partially ordered sets there may be some pairs which are not comparable now we introduce the notation a greater than b to mean that a greater than or equal to b but a is not equal to b also we agree to use b less than or equal to a and b less than or equal to a as alternatives for a greater than or equal to b and a greater than b so in our discussion a partially ordering relation is greater than or equal to we write to be less than or equal to a if a is greater than or equal to b that is the meaning for this less than or equal to a simple now let us define a chain chain is also known as a fully ordered set or a linearly ordered set or a totally ordered set if every pair of elements of a positive s are comparable that is if a and b are two elements then either a less than greater than or equal to b or b greater than or equal to b then s is said to be a linearly ordered set or it is a chain and the relation is called a total ordering or a linear ordering for example in z comma greater than or equal to or z is the set of all integers any two integers are comparable therefore this z greater than or equal to is a chain on the other hand a partially ordered set p of s greater than or equal to is not a chain because in this partially ordered set for example if s is equal to 1 2 3 then the elements of p of s namely singleton 1 and singleton 2 are not comparable so it is simply a partially ordered set but not a chain now let us define yet cover in a poset We take two elements a1 and a2. We say that a1 is a cover of a2 if a1 is greater than a2, and no u belongs to S exists such that a1 greater than u greater than a2. So if a1 is a cover of a2, then a1 must be greater than or equal to a2, but a1 not equal to a2, and there is no u in between a1 and a2. For example. in p of n any singleton set covers pi singleton 1 is a cover for pi singleton 2 is a cover for pi but the set 1 comma 2 is not a cover for empty set 
because in between the set 1 comma 2 and pi we can insert the set symbol dot 1 so the set 1 comma 2 is not a cover for pi in the empty set now in n the set of all natural numbers with respect to the usual greater than or equal to 3 covers 2 because 3 is greater than 2 and there is no integer in between 3 and 2 so 3 is a cover for 2 but 4 is not a cover for 2 even though 4 is greater than 2 there exists an integer 3 between 4 and 2 so 4 is not a cover for 2 it is clear that if a greater than b in a finite posit then we can find a chain a is equal to a1 greater than a2 greater than an equal to b in which each ai covers a i plus 1 conversely the existence of such a chain implies that a is greater than b by using the transitive property now in group theory sorry in graph theory every graph can be conveniently represented by a diagram in a similar way a partially ordered set can also be a finite partially ordered set can also be represented by means of a diagram a finite poset s can be conveniently represented by a diagram known as has the diagram as follows the elements of s are represented by small circles or small dots if a and b are elements of s and b covers a then a circle for b is placed just above the circle for a and the two circles are joined by a line segment the resulting figure is a diagram for the poset for example consider the numbers 1 2 4 8 and have the divisibility relation here we define a greater than or equal to b if a divides b note that here we define a greater than or equal to b if a divides b if you want you can define a greater than or equal to b if b divides a it is different so mm -hmm. in this example a greater than or equal to b if a divides b now with respect to this greater than or equal to 1 is greater than or equal to 2 greater than or equal to 4 greater than or equal to 8 also 1 is a cover for 2 and 2 is a cover for 4 and 4 is a cover for 8 so this figure this partial ordered set can be conveniently represented by the Hazy diagram. This is the Hazy diagram for this partially added set. 4 is a cover for 8, 2 is a cover for 4, and 1 is a cover for 2. So it is the Hazy diagram for that particular partially added set. Now consider the system of all subgroups of the four group. The elements of V4 are E comma E, A comma B comma C. And the, there are four subgroups. Sorry, there are five subgroups, namely Simpleton E, E comma A, E comma B, E comma C, and V4. And with respect to the usual greater than or equal to relation. This system is a partially ordered set. The diagram of this set is given in the next slide. So here, e comma a is a cover for singleton e, e comma b is another cover for single singleton e, e comma c is also a cover for singleton e, and this v4 is a cover for these three groups. So we get this as a diagram for the set of all subgroups of v4. Now we consider the set of all subsets of a set with the three elements. If S is equal to 1, set bracket 1, comma 2, comma 3, and P of S is the power set of S, we define A greater than or equal to B if A contains if A greater contains B. And then clearly it is a partial ordered set. And the Gazi diagram for this partial ordered set is given below. Symbol done 1. Singleton 2, singleton 3 are 3 covers for pi. 1 comma 2 is a cover for 1. And 1 comma 2 is also a cover for 1. Similarly, 2 comma 3 is a cover for singleton 2. 
and 2 comma 3 is a cover for single double 3 and this 1 2 3 is a cover for 1 2 1 3 and 2 3 so we get this as a diagram for all subsets of the set 1 2 3 Now we discuss the diagram for the first set of subgroups of the cyclic group of ordered sets. We consider a cyclic group of ordered sets. The only divisors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. So corresponding to these divisors we can find unique subgroups G1, G2, G3 and G4 of orders 1, 2, 3 and 6 respectively. If H is any subgroup of G, then by Lagrange's theorem, order of H divides H. That means order of H is either 1 or 2 or 3 or 6. By the uniqueness property, either H is equal to G1 or G2 or G3 or G4. Therefore, G1, G2, G3 and G4 are the only subgroups of a cyclic group of order 6. We consider these subgroups of G as a set S. S is equal to G1, G2, G3, G4. And with respect to the usual greater than or equal to, that is G1 greater than or equal to G2 if G1 is a, G2 is a subset of G1. Clearly this S is greater than or equal to is a poset and the diagram for this poset is given here. Here G2 is a cover for G1 and G3 is a cover for G1 and G4 is a cover for both the G2 and G3. So it is the Gaussian diagram of subgroups of the cyclic group of order 6. Now we consider the subgroups of S3. S3 is the symmetric group. The elements of S3 are identity permutation. The two cycles AB, BC, C A and then the three cycles A B C A C B. These are the six elements of S3. And the subgroups of S3 are singleton I, I comma A B, I comma B C, I comma C A and I comma A B C A C B and S3. Then with respect to the usual greater than or equal to relation. That means A greater than or equal to B if A contains B. The set of all subgroups of S3 form a flat form a partially ordered set. The diagram of this poset is given in the next slide. So here I comma A B is a cover for I, I comma B C is a cover for I, I comma C A is a cover for I and this I, I comma A B C comma A C B is also a cover for I because you can find a subgroup in between these two. In between these two, you can't find a subgroup. So it is also a cover for single term I. And certainly this S3 is a cover for all these four subgroups. So it is the Gaussian diagram for the subgroups of S3. Now we consider a simple problem. We consider the set of all functions which are continuous over the interval close to zero comma one. We define f greater than or equal to g if and only if f of x is greater than or equal to g of x for all x belongs to close to 0, 1. Let us show that this relation is a partial ordering on the set S. Suppose f is greater than or equal to g and g is greater than or equal to f. Then by definition f of x is greater than or equal to g of x and g of x greater than or equal to f of x. By the definition of greater than or equal to in this partial order x, partial order set. So f of x greater than or equal to g of x and g of x greater than or equal to f of x implies f of x equal to g of x for all x. That means f equal to g. So if f greater than or equal to g and g greater than or equal to f implies f equal to g. Suppose f equal to g, then f of x equal to g of x for all x. In this case, we can write f of x greater than or equal to g of x. We can write 5 greater than or equal to 5, 7 greater than or equal to 7. In a similar way, 
f of x equal to g of x implies f of x greater than or equal to g of x and g of x greater than or equal to f of x. That means f is greater than or equal to g and g is greater than or equal to f. So this greater than or equal to is both reflexive and anti-symmetric. Suppose f is greater than or equal to g and g greater than or equal to h. Then by the definition of greater than or equal to f of x greater than or equal to g of x and g of x greater than or equal to h of x. That implies f of x greater than or equal to h of x for all x. That implies f is greater than or equal to h. Therefore, this greater than or equal to is transitive. Therefore, this is greater than or equal to is a plus h. Thank you. Thank you very much.